I try. So she tried to go around it. She didn't like to refuse, but since it wasn't a really good try, what we're gonna do is we'll just do it again. We go back to a walk. Walk is calm, walk is always good. Oh, I should set up a little bit better than that. There we go. Good. There you go. <laughs> well, you see why I don't do a lot of hunter jumper. So basically she tried to stop and then she jumped over it. No problem, just not very pretty. She is a kind of overweight and out of shape and so it's, it's not like that high, but for her to think to go over it, she's like, eh, not sure about that. Well, that was a little bit of a good gait there, but I want her to canter. No problem, go back to a walk. Cantering, we wanna have lots of patience for. You wanna have your horse calm. If your horse is nervous and rushing, don't work on canter. See how calm this mare is? Totally fine to work on canter. Look up. Good, better, good girl. So for that, she gets to stop and praise. Good girl, good girl. Good. Good girl. Nicely done. Now I keep my reins short enough that I can control the horses turning so that they go over the jump, but then I give them a loose rein. Look at that. Sunflower out in the field. It's like squirrel. Good, and she's walking calmly. That's what you want. You want canter, walk, canter, walk, canter, walk. Because you don't want to, I don't believe in canter, canter, canter until they're strong enough. So pushing them to go farther is usually just a way to get them, you know, kind of upset. Later on, we can, once they're good, you can canter farther. Good. Good girl. And we'll, so kind of a lopsided canter, but she did it nicely. It's not super bumpy. It's not um, rushing. She slows down really easily. I actually had to push her to keep going that time. Well done. Well done. And again, she's being ridden in a snaffle, the rock and S raised snaffle. Very responsive to that. I'll probably take her on a trail ride next week. Um, just because this weekend is busy. Um, because she's so calm about this whole canter thing, I'll do it a few more times. As soon as your horse gets riled up or hyper, stop. Do it the next day. That's can counter canter with a good gait at the end. So, yeah, we're gonna do it again. She's got a bad jump. Again, she doesn't seem super athletic, so asking her to jump is a little bit like, Ugh. but she's not. It's not a bad jump, and she goes right over it. The important thing for me to do is remember to look up because that helps set the horse up. So I'm looking up at those gates. That was a better canter. Good girl. Good girl. That was beautiful. Part of it was me setting her upright. That was beautiful. Beautiful. So um, something that I need to work on, but I'll tell you about. So if you don't have a horn, see, English saddle, no horn, or you'd be a sat Western saddle with no horn, you wanna make sure that when you go to canter over, put your hands here, lean forward, um, and, and put your hands on the horse. It'll help keep you from like bouncing on their back, and it'll help let the horse go and make sure you're not pulling on the reins. Because you don't wanna sit back, which can sometimes be a cue for the horse to stop, so lean forward, get your balance, lean forward. And the reins are still right there for you to pull back if you need to. Good job, that was beautiful. And so what we want her to learn is that's exactly how we want her to canter every time. Good girl. All right, so here we go. 
Try again. So I'm gonna try to be looking up at those gates up there. Put my hands here. Yes. Yes. Yes, good girl. That was a beautiful canter. Good, good girl. Look at that. Beautiful job. Beautiful. Well done. And because that was so good, we we're gonna stop right there. That was excellent. Okay. Okay, lovely. Yes, that was a beautiful canner. It felt great earlier canners, felt choppy. That one, I finally got myself together and she just did a nice canner. And I had no grass feet. She's gonna remember that, especially because I hopped off there. Here you go. Well done. That's a great, that's a great thing to end the lesson on. I like doing cantering near the end of a lesson if possible, so that when they do well, just like that, you can hop off and say, we're done. Because it was so good.